By turning on the DSR, the chips are there, and you can talk to them. Okay, we have a question about the uh, double-density cards. Why is Corecom not compatible with MyArc? 
Just core comp only reads 18 sectors, and MIOC is a 16 sector or 18 sectors per track. And a personal question directed to you, how did you learn GPL if you indeed know it? Is it a CI mini computer or did you just pick it up? I think I answered no comment last time and I'll stay with that this time. We'll switch to St. Louis and Jim Zidlowski. What future is there for additional software for CI with so many companies quitting? Is there any hope? I think so. You didn't quit. I didn't quit. So as far as I'm concerned, there's hope, right? You've got one new program out and how many following? No, I won't say how many, but we have others following. Okay. Yeah. And Roy Tamashiro is looking for the equivalent to call key in basics for input output on BBS 7. I think I looked at that once before and I uh I don't know for the equivalent to call key input output on BBS 7. I believe he's looking, uh, I, I think we discussed this before and the question wasn't real clear and I thought it had something to do with an assembly language and at that case you're looking for the case scan routine, I would presume. Okay. Okay. From, but uh, that was a lousy answer, but I'm not sure of the question, so. From John Cole at Micropendium, where will third party manufacturers be headed for the development of co processed devices? Of well, it appears uh, it's quite evident from what's happening with MyArc that we're going for probably both. Both. Right yeah. Okay. What is your opinion of co-processing devices? Are they a real value to TI users, or would they be better off simply buying a different brand of computer that contains the processor? In the direction that uh, I believe the new computer is taking, I think it's a it's a plus. It, it should provide a bridge for us between uh, TI and MS DOS. And an economical bridge, so that later on, if you wanted to then expand on out into a bigger MS-DOS machine, a PC or something of that nature, then you've taken a, a medium transition, and it'd be a lot easier instead of just dumping your whole software library and starting over. And with having the availability of both, I can see the possibility of some nice conversion programs since they'll both run on the same machine. So you should be able to do some nice stuff. How difficult and costly is it to develop specialty peripheral cards for the PE box? What types of specialty? I won't answer that for a couple of reasons. There's something that happened recently that I, I just won't. I won't answer that. Okay. Going to the Animal Valley, uh, California, John Stockwell asks, how do you use DSR and extended basic? Previously discussed. Oh, I know what he was referring to. I'm sorry. Uh, that is, uh, he's looking for a DSR link, and a number of them have been published. Uh, we got a newsletter yesterday and had a DSR link and a GPL link, which the man said he was too dumb to write the Aztec text instruments and they gave him. I haven't punched up all the way. They don't work. Them. Yeah, they don't work. Yeah, the GPL link doesn't work. It's the one that came from TI. Oh. <laughs> okay. There was a GPL link in an early newsletter that we wrote that the, the first one we put out works great for extended basic only, but pure assembly loaded from extended basic, it doesn't work if you do call two call tones. So a gentleman by the name of Heiner Martin from Germany sent us a revision to that, and that fixed that. So that GPL link now works fine. Uh, this issue coming out, we have some DSR links for extended basic. And we have one, uh, so is it in this issue? No. We have a DSR link coming out shortly that Doug wrote that uses a GPL link to access the DSR link that's already built into the council so we don't have to duplicate code. Okay. 